And so the thing is, it's 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 kind of like I, I think with art, your your moral obligation is to make the best art you can. Mm. You know. Well, and if you're doing what we're talking about doing, if if I'm presenting the deepest, most intimate parts of my soul, maybe not the deepest, most intimate, but parts of my soul, just in general, don't I want to do it justice? Don't I want to oh, yeah. do it with some reverence of who I am? And then it's not just me either. You know, you're know, you the lead filmmaker, but you're coming in alongside other people who are filmmaking with you. So it's these little pieces of souls all coming oh, together. Let's bury the auteur theory. Let's just bury it. The which one? The auteur theory. Go for it. I uh, don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, okay. Um, in film school, mm -hmm. um, they teach you that one person is responsible for everything good in a movie, and it's like... Do they really? More or less, yeah. That's hogwash. That is hogwash. That's absolute hogwash, it, and it, here's, here's where I'll argue it. Joss Whedon Productions. Oh, wow. Joss Whedon builds a cast that enters into the creative process with him. If you look at Firefly, you look at Dollhouse, you look at uh, Avengers. Nice. I'm not going to count Age of Ultron. That was a no, bit he of, was pressured. That was a bit yeah. of a miss. But you look at what he works. He's There's no one person who's the king of that. Oh, wow. Can you tell me Nathan Fillion is the one that kills it and just makes... Dr. Horrible sing-along blog? No. Can you tell me it's Neil Patrick Harris? Felicia Day. Joss Whedon himself. Jed Whedon no. with the music writing. I mean... It, there's just no... There's no foundation for this theory that they're presenting. They, they seriously put this in film school. Yeah, the, they put this stuff that the director is like this... This person who does everything... And you're like, wait, producers hire directors... Studios hire producers. Yeah. You know. Yeah. There's a lot of pieces. And then you're fighting for creative control <laughs> the whole time because you think you're this end-all, be-all director. Oh, of course. Of course. It's ridiculous. You're yeah. just breeding tension that's not productive. Oh, man, bear. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, exactly. Ah. Uh, well, it's no wonder I'm seeing this. It never made sense to me when I would see this. Yeah, that, that way you can tell the people who have gone to film school because they're all kind of you know, high Top on down. The, yeah. It's like yeah, it's like okay, you're you're still at the bottom. You know. Yeah. Well, not even that. Just bring everybody to your level. Oh yeah. Right. Because you're not going to create it without them. Oh, exactly. And trust me, if you make your perfect vision, it won't be as good as it could have been if you'd allowed it to kind of grow on its own. A hundred ten percent. Here's where I get. Where I think the Iron Giant destroys the auteur theory is that Brad Bird would take every idea that was good from his crew to work on the story, and the movie is one of the best movies ever made. Hands down. Uh, I would argue in anime, we saw that with Evangelion. It was just incredible what they pulled off with that. Um, and it was, just, it was a group effort. It was yeah. A group effort. Uh, who else? I mean, gosh, we could just go down the line. I mean, all right, so to make the counterpoint, though, okay, because there's we're just ideologues if we only look at one side. <laughs> oh, exactly. Um, uh, Kubrick. Oh, uh, but Kubrick, Kubrick, Kubrick did a lot of different movies, though. Mm -hmm. He he made different movies with different styles. Yeah, but he was a stickler for the image that he was trying to oh, produce. Yeah. What was it? 127 takes. It's one of the I famous. Mean, yeah, but references. the thing is. You know, a stick in the mud director doesn't necessarily make for a good movie all the time. No, but his did is to yeah. my, is my point. It's like he's a good. I think he's a good supporting example of the theory. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean. But I, but I also wonder what could Kubrick have made if he had had a few more Kubricks on his team that would have worked together to create something even even grander. Uh, I mean.